welcome everybody to the latest video so yeah i thought i'd do this uh put this video out it's uh it's about pickups i've got this year and since i started recollecting probably seven years ago and been on youtube making videos now for five years um this is definitely the worst worst year um yeah me and my friend were talking about it saying what you know what we'd found this year at the boots charity shops and uh although i've you know found a lot of stuff for cx credit and added quite you know some quite decent games with the credit actual sort of charity shop and car boot finds have been really slim this year stuff for the collection that is um so yeah it's been pretty poor i mean obviously the, the size of the collection is pretty getting pretty big now and uh so it's you know it's finding uh harder to find those uh, things that you do want in the collection but yeah it's been tough this year definitely really noticed it uh, this year rather than previous years so i thought i'd just go through a few of the finds that i have you know picked up on the cheap that are going into my collection or have gone into the collection obviously you know i'm not going to show all the stuff i've picked up to sell or or stuff that's been traded because that long that stuff's long gone but um yeah i'll show you a few bits anyway but uh so we'll start off with these couple of um gaming guides I think they were like a couple of quid each from a car boot. So you've got the Zelda one. Uh, I've kept these two. Um, to be honest with you, I've got a lot of strategy guides, and I'm getting going to get rid of quite a few because just you know I don't I don't really read them and just take up space. Um, but I kept these two anyway. But yeah, I think I had these two from a car boot sale. But this uh, Resident Evil one's good. Uh, a little bit ropey, you know, some of the corners and that. But uh, yeah, for a couple of quid. That was definitely a nice find this year from the boot. Moving on to a few games that have gone into the collection. So we'll start with a few DS games. So you've got Mario vs Donkey Kong 2. I think that was a couple of pounds a uh, month or two back. I had this in the collection already, but mine was in an American case. But this year I actually found a loose case, um, an empty case of the PAL version. So I've been able to uh, to actually properly complete the, the PAL version now. So that was good. I think the case was like a quid or something. And the other DS game I, I got near the start of the year, I believe this was. I think it was like £2.50. Super Princess Peach. Yeah, quite surprising what this goes for now. It's like maybe like a 30 quid game. So yeah, definitely a good uh, good one to pick up. And it's nice and complete. So I mean, you know, you still do find the odd thing. Um it's for a good price, a nice bargain. But uh, yeah, that was those were all from the car boot sale. A couple of Xbox One games going into the collection this year. So you've got the Transformers Devastation. Can't know how much these were, probably like a pound or two each, uh, from the car boot sale. And then you've got Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. So yeah, not much uh, Xbox One games going into the collection, but a couple of 360 games. And these two were found at a charity shop. I did do a video about these. I mean, all this stuff I'm showing, I'm sure it's probably on my channel somewhere. But um, so we have found FIFA 19 in a glass cabinet at the charity shop. I paid £10. This is going for like 45 quid now. Uh, it didn't actually come with a manual, um, but it doesn't. Um, it comes with like, a, you know, one of those little um, paper EA things, I think it is. Um, so, yeah, not bad for a ten of that. And also in the same glass cabinet was Monkey Island collection for £10. I mean, this one goes for a few quid as well. Still not changed the case out. I remember when I bought it, it was in this case because this disc kept flying out. But, you know, it's uh, it's all complete in there. The reason I didn't change the case is I wanted to keep that like, £10 on there just to remind me how much I'd pay for it. Um, but yeah. So yeah, not a bad couple of uh, 360 games there. This was a nice find. Found this a couple of months ago. Paid, uh, it was three games for a fiver, three PS4 games for a fiver. 
so this cost me less than two pound um yeah not a cheap one now this one and uh yeah a decent find at the boot that was berserk uh, got a few ps2 games la manager 2007 i paid 50p for this about three or four weeks ago complete nice condition paid a pound for this street fighter ex3 yeah this was at the boot as well for a quid complete just put my mate to it uh as i sort of approached the table and spotted it he sort of did the same but i sort of just got there just before him and sopranos i think was nearer the start of the year but this was from a uh, regenerate for 49p so nice find there sadly it didn't come with its manual but for 49p you know what i mean you're uh, you're going to pick it up, up all day long same regenerate near the start of the year was sonic hill director's cut and this one was a pound and you can see there what i paid a quid sonic hill 2 so yeah quid for a uh, sonic hill 2 director's cut i mean it has got a little bit of damage to the artwork there but i mean for a quid yeah that was definitely one of the better finds uh, this year Uh, a couple of ps1 games fantastic four the inlay is a bit creased up it was folded up i uh, found this in a charity shop for two pound fifty the case was absolutely battered but yeah put it in a better case now and for me for 250 not a bad little find and then a couple of more ps1 games you've got these double packs rayman and rayman 2 and I can't remember which Rayman was, I think it might have been a couple of quid, but I remember the Tekken 2 and Soul Blade was a fiver. Both complete, decent shape. That's the PS1. Moving on to the last few bits uh, with the games. So I actually paid £10 for this from a resetter at the car boot. Never seen it before. And it come with its little book. Little magazine thing or artwork or something, I'm not sure what it is, but... Uh, yeah, paid up, but it's lovely condition, and it's, you know, it's all in there, complete, so I did pay a tenner for it, but uh, it was something going into the collection, I think I paid £2 for this, might have been 3 2 or 3 but it's the, uh, it's the Origins Collection, the Ultimate Edition, yeah, not a cheap game, this, this, uh, this version, and, um, for what i paid for it it was a nice find that was at the car boot sale it was actually i was selling there and uh, it was probably about an hour hour and a half before i was about to pack up so the boot had been running a number of hours and uh, i walked around and i found this uh, in in with some dvds it just shows you you know uh, there's still stuff to be had even later in the day and uh, when i got back to the to the car when i was uh, where, where i was selling i looked this up and i was like what it was like a 25 30 pound game so yeah it was a nice nice little find that i think this was this year can't actually remember i think it was but yeah, you got the hitman edition of uh, smackdown in the slip case so that was a decent little find that was like a quid or something um this is actually my copy but uh, i thought i'd worth mentioning because it was a nice little find yeah, I found this for a pound, uh, not this version, this copy, but I found a copy of this for a quid uh, at a car boot me and my mate was at. And um, I said to him, look, I've already got it. I can trade it and get a bit of credit. But uh, actually, I've just noticed this. This case is damaged on my copy, but I'll have to replace the case. Um, I said to him, um, I've already got it in the collection. You know, I could trade it and get a bit of voucher, but just... Give me the quid what I paid for it and you can have it because I know he, he wanted it is for his collection. But uh, I played through most of this this game and I'm stuck. <laughs> like like a lot of games, I get stuck. Uh, I do need to go back to it and try and beat it. But yeah, it's quite tough in places this is. But a decent game, really good. So yeah, that was a nice find uh, that uh, my mate had. And um, so yeah, that is the, the games. I mean, not a great deal really 
you know considering but um yes a few decent bits uh, adding to the collection uh, but i will i will show you a few of the bits give us a sec so i found a number of ps2s this year i've moved a few on uh, still got these few here actually I've, there is another one uh, the fat version black one i've kept as a spare in really nice condition as well um but yeah there's a couple more here um i've already got one of these slim ones boxed very nice condition in the collection but i paid a 10 pound for that that's uh, that box version there so that would just get moved on at some point it has got a, a tear in one of the flaps is ripped off but for a tenner it's it's all in there i think all the paperwork and everything's in there so that was decent it will find and there's another another slim there that i've picked up at some point uh, for maybe five or ten pound but um yeah there's 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 been more ps2s found quite a few ps2s this year which is pretty cool of course one of the best console finds i've had this year uh, apart from the wii's and the ps2 and whatnot but um found a box n64 uh, didn't have one in the collection and to find this at a boot for 40 pound i think he wanted 50 and i give him he accepted 40 uh, not bad shape you know i mean the box is overall it's sort of okay but uh nice to see you don't see this stuff to, you know very often at the boots anymore um so to find this uh, for 40 pound i was very happy uh, going into the collection or gone into the collection should i say of course like i've said before there's there's been many other things i've picked up that i've either sold or traded uh, you know um, a lot of credit I've made and picked a lot of games up from CEX this year probably more than ever really really uh, got into collecting the PS3 over the last couple of years because I knew you know that it was going to be a system that sort of went up in price and um, now they've done the rarity thing for the Xbox 360 I'm sure that the PS3 won't be far behind now with that rarity thing and they're just going to go up so i've really been you know collecting the ps3 this year i love the system i love playing the games on the ps3 um but yeah well, anyway we'll, what i'm showing you at the moment is a recent pickup and i paid 10 pound for this at a charity shop and it's the wii u uh, balance board which you don't see i mean you know how many times you see the the wii version of the balance board but not the wii u version and it comes with a fit meter and i thought um for a tenner it wasn't bad and uh anyway i'll show you when i open it up yeah when i opened it up I was really surprised it's all brand new inside there's the uh the fit meter that comes with it i have already got one of these so i'll probably just sell my copy of the fit meter now but there it is um but yeah all the uh I mean, you can see the batteries are still sealed. There's all the paperwork. It's never been out, never been out of the box. So that was a really good little pick up that for a tenner. Um, yeah, I am going for the full Wii U, uh, Power Wii U set. Um, I think I'm less than 20 games off now, about 18 games off the full set. Um, but yeah, to find a, um, a brand new in box uh, Wii U Fit balance board with its uh, with the meter was a nice little find so yeah that's pretty much wrapping up uh, the end of the video like i say i've uh, picked up quite a few bits this year not too many going to the collection but what i have found is uh, is really good but yeah definitely noticed it this year um you know i was saying to my mate and even just going back a couple of years you'd see a lot you know you'd see ps2 on a you know a lot um You'd, you'd see ps2 games just stuff like gta and and all that sort of stuff you know you'd see it every week um but this year you just don't you don't really see even ps2 stuff you might see the odd bit of 360 stuff a few ps3 games but you know stuff like psp you just don't see that sort of stuff anymore do you so definitely getting harder out there but uh you know we'll keep going next year hopefully be a better one but we'll uh, we'll find out next year i suppose so yeah that's for the end of the video uh something a little bit different but um yeah let us know in the comments you know what have you had this year 
have you really noticed the decline in stuff? Uh, it's all about credit these days, isn't it, more than anything? But um, yeah, let us know your, you know, your best finds this year. Anyway, that's it for now. If I take it, you stay safe.